To install Rainway, start off by opening up your web browser and then visit rainway.io. And once you get on their website, if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to go up here, click on register, and then create a username and password for yourself so that you have a Rainway account. Now, I've already done that, so I don't have to take that step. Once you've registered, go ahead and click on download server. And then you can go ahead and choose to run it. So we'll give it a little bit of time. Shouldn't take very long. It's not a very big file. Installing Rainway is very simple. So after the download completes, you're going to see this screen. Go ahead and hit next. Um, it's going to give you some terms and conditions. Go ahead and scroll through those. I highly encourage you to read them. And then when you're ready, hit I accept and then choose next again. It's going to ask you where you want to install Rainway. And I find that the default location for most people is perfect. So go ahead and hit next and then hit install to let it go ahead and finish. All right, and then once it finishes, you're gonna be presented with this screen right here, and you're gonna go ahead and log in with the account that you created earlier. All right, and then it's gonna prompt you to run the first time setup, so go ahead and click first time setup. It's gonna ask you which screen you'd like to stream. So on my computer, I've got four different screens attached, so it's asking you which one of the screens is going to be the one that has gameplay on it. So for me, that's going to be this one. It's going to ask you which audio device to stream. Now this is really important, so I'm going to pause here and kind of focus on this. Because we get this question a lot in the Discord where people get the stream working, but they have no audio. And if that's the case for you, it's because you chose the wrong audio device. Now a lot of us are actually going to have a list like this where you have a lot of audio devices that you can choose from. So let's kind of break this down because we can kind of use some logic to figure out which one is the right one. So if I go through the list, it says microphone, high definition audio. Well, we're not streaming a microphone, so that's not the right one. And then it's going to say microphone. This is actually my webcam. So again, microphone tells us that that's not the right one. And then I have another microphone. This is actually my studio mic. So that's not the right one. Um, down here, it lists NVIDIA high definition audio. So for me, this is actually the HDMI port on my graphics card, and I know that, so that's not the right one. And that leaves speakers, high definition audio device. And this is the, the audio port on my motherboard, which is absolutely the right one. So I'm gonna click that. And then it's gonna ask you to choose how you wanna stream. So you get two options. You can choose quality, which is the default, or you can choose constant bit rate. And the difference between them is that quality focuses on how your video looks as it's being streamed. So it's focusing on looking really good. The problem that you might run into with that is that because it's focused so much on the quality of the video, you might encounter a little bit of stuttering or input latency if your network is not up to par. So input latency is a delay between what you push on your keyboard or mouse or controller and when you see action on your screen. So like if you push A on your controller and then it takes a second or two before you see your character jump on the screen, that means that you're experiencing input latency and that's not a good gaming experience. So you may wanna try the constant bit rate. So constant bit rate allows you to choose exactly what's right for your style of network to be able to get smooth results. So it lets you define it and be a little more picky. So for me, I've tested this a bit and I know that within my local network, I can slide this all the way up to about 15 and have really good video, but also have good input. So there's not really any latency between when I push buttons and when I see it happen on the screen. So that's really helpful. Now that may be different for you, but this is a pretty good starting point for most networks. And here's a quick tip that's important. If you're going to be streaming Rainway across the internet, you wanna make sure that your bit rate that you choose right here is not greater than your upload speed for your internet. If you're not sure what your speed actually is, 
you can open your browser and visit speedtest.net. You'll see a big button to go and test the speed. It'll tell you exactly what your real-time upload speed is. And this number right here cannot exceed that if you're going to play across the internet. So for me, if I was gonna be playing outside my network, my upload speed is only about 10 megabits per second. So I would have to lower this slider down to 10 and that would allow me to stream from my house to like a Starbucks or something like that. So that's just a quick tip that'll help you. Now I'm gonna be streaming within my local network for right now, so I'm gonna bump it back up to 15, and then we're gonna hit confirm. Now it's gonna ask you next to log in with your Steam account. So this is how it basically detects the Steam games that are on your computer. So I'm gonna log in with my account. And then uh, if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to ask you to submit your Steam code. So this is just a security measure from Steam. So I'm checking my email right now and I'm just waiting for that Steam email to come in and you can tell it just did. So I'll give it a second, there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the code that they sent me. And then submit it. And then we'll hit proceed to Steam. That basically logs us in and it's just going to go ahead and tweak It'll basically open up the local firewall, set up your sockets, and that's going to be it. So when you're done, this is your screen that you're basically going to be presented with. And we're going to break this screen down so you know exactly what to choose to get the best results. So we already talked about a lot of this because it asked you most of these questions as you set it up. So encoder is going to be how your video card is processed so that your graphics can be streamed to your other device. And if you have an NVIDIA card like I do, you have a few choices. You can choose NVIDIA H.264 H or you can choose Rainway NVIDIA hardware encoder. This one is actually their most recent one. This is the one that they've optimized the most. So I'd, I'd encourage you to choose this one first if you have NVIDIA on your computer. If you have some trouble, so if things crash or you experience a lot of delay or latency, Go ahead and go back to the screen, click on it, choose the NVIDIA encoder from here and try the standard one. Um, they do give you an option for software as well, which means that your processor is going to handle the encoding. If you have a dedicated graphics card from NVIDIA or from AMD, I would encourage you to use those instead. So that's going to give you the best results. Only use this if you don't have a physical graphics card. So like if you have a uh, a computer that only has Intel HD graphics, you can choose this. Or if for some reason you don't want your graphics card to be doing the encoding and you want to free that up to do just gaming, you can do this and force it to be done by the CPU. So that's kind of up to you, but this is what I encourage. You know, go for with this one for right now. Now, if you do have an AMD card, these options will look a little bit different. You won't see Nvidia. You're going to be able to choose AMD instead. Now, down here it lets you choose which one of your video adapters is going to be handling the stream. Now for me, I've only got the one. I've just got the NVIDIA card, but some computers have both a dedicated card and an integrated card like the Intel HD. And if you do, you may have to click this and choose your, your dedicated card. And then the next part we already configured. So it lets you choose the display again or change the display or you can go down here and correct the audio. So let's say that you guessed wrong earlier during setup and you chose the wrong audio device, so you've got no sound. You can go into the same list again and choose the correct device or experiment and find out which device is handling your game audio. So that's basically just a correction because we chose this during the first setup. And that's basically it for the hardware portion. The next portion is tweaking the stream itself. And again, we chose a few of these details already. So if you remember, we chose 15 megabits per second constant bit rate, and that's still here. You can tweak these if you need to. Now you have two additional things that you can play with. So the first one is gonna be your frame rate. If you wanna have the best experience possible, you might wanna start by testing 60 FPS. So 60 FPS is extra smooth. It's gonna look really, really good. And if your network and your computer can handle it, this is the best looking option. If you're having some trouble, you may want to tweak this later, and we'll come back to that. You can also tweak your stream scaling. So usually you're good with leaving this disabled. So disabled means that Rainway is going to pick a resolution that it feels is best for the streaming situation. And we'll talk about when you would tweak that as well. 
So let's go into some examples of how you would tweak this and why. So let's say that you've tried the default settings, you tested streaming and something wasn't quite right. So either the video didn't look very good, you know, it was kind of blocky or washed out, or you had trouble with stuttering, disconnections or input latency. If any of those problems apply to you, you're gonna to wanna to come back in here and play around a little bit more. So the first thing that you'd wanna do is go into your frame rate and test a slower one. So drop it down to 45 first, test your streaming again. If it's still kind of iffy, come back in here, drop it down to 30. So 30 is really the lowest that you wanna go for frame rate if you wanna have a normal looking gaming experience. If you go in here and choose 15, it's gonna be awful. To be honest, I don't even know why that's even there. So 30 is as low as you wanna possibly go. So let's say that you're still having trouble, it's still not what, quite right for whatever reason. Next, you wanna to go to your bit rate and drop that down. So I usually drop down in increments of five. So if I'm on 15, I would drop it down to 10. So we could go right here to 10 and then save it. And um, for most people, you should have a pretty good experience at this point. If you've dropped it down to 10, you've lowered your frame rate to 30, that's pretty light on both the computer and the network, so that should work. However, if you're still having trouble, you can go into the stream scaling and drop that down to 720p. So that's gonna be 1280 by 720. And that's gonna kinda of cut down even more on the load that's being put on your network. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial about setting up Rainway. Now this is just the first part in a series of tutorials about how to get the most out of Rainway. So be sure to check out the other parts to learn even more. And be sure to check us out on social media. So head on over to twitter.com slash flickstick and be sure to click the follow button so that you get updated every time we do something new. And we've also got a brand new website at flickstick.com. So be sure to head over there and check it out. And you're gonna find that we post the latest news we give you more tutorials and even more insights into the world of game streaming and cloud gaming. So be sure to check us out at flickstick.com to learn even more about those subjects and subscribe to us there as well. And lastly, be sure to head over to youtube.com slash flickstick and follow our channel. So go on over, hit the subscribe button so that you get updated every time we release something new and for this video, be sure to hit the like button so that this video gets ranked highly and other people can benefit from it just like you are right now. And until next time, you guys have a good one.